Alrighty, Troy here at Mills GM and Baxter. And again, I'm really honest with my walk around videos. That way, if you notice I zoom in on a door dang a scratch, you know that we're not hiding anything else. This is that 2008 SLE. Uh, one previous little chip someone filled in. Hood looks good. You know, it still has an occasional paint flick here or there. That's just, it's Minnesota roadways. You can't own a car without some paint. I call road rash. One little scratch there. And we fine tooth comb these vehicles for two reasons. Doesn't matter if it's this or a 2004 Sierra. Um, if a truck needs something, we fix it. Two reasons. It's the right thing to do. One little paint flick there. And number two, at the age of the internet. If you start putting junk on the road and it keeps needing brake pads or bulb tires, millions of people know about it. It's called Facebook reviews and Google reviews. Looks good. Has the access tunnel cover. Has a drop-in spray liner. Sorry if it's a little dark. There we go. And I forgot, uh, you know, today's Columbus Day, so uh, your bank, all of my banks are closed. So we'll give your banker a call in the morning and see how we apply that $1,000 down payment credit they give you because you had to use your gap insurance. This is a really nice truck other than those few places I showed you paint chips. They did add trailer brakes, so in case you have a boat or a camper uh, with trailer brakes. And this is more of the rare bucket seats with the cloth. They kind of stopped doing it as an option. Uh, someone did add aftermarket remote start, so I imagine it's got a big old range to it. We'll check out the back seats. Again, I'm not the most professional videographer, if that's the correct term, but I'm just really honest. Uh, smells good. You know, once you get poodle or smoke smell in a truck, you can't get it out. You can mask it, but you can't get it out. All right, give me a call this afternoon.